somebody has been stung, uh, and if it's by a bee, um, the bee often leaves its sting behind in the skin. If you can see it there, really important to remove it by scraping with your finger, um, your thumbnail or a credit card to scrape that sting out because whilst it's the, the little sting sac and poison sac still in the skin, it can be discharging its poison which can increase any reaction that the casualty might have to the sting. If um, they've been stung and their arm starts to swell, then a wrapped ice pack can work really efficiently at taking down that swelling. If um, it's still causing the problems, um, then Pyroton, so Pyroton tablets or um, syrup can be very helpful, although it does take about 15 minutes to work. If they start having a systemic all over reaction to that sting, so they were stung on the arm but their face and their lips and their throat all start swelling, they're having an anaphylactic reaction. If they've been prescribed an EpiPen or an adrenaline auto-injector for um, allergies, then you need to use that now. If they haven't been prescribed one, then um, you need to get the emergency services on their way. If they're having difficulty um, breathing, um, then you need to sit them down, so sit them on the floor and they'll want to be upright because that's easier for, for breathing. If they're not having difficulty breathing but they are swollen all over and um, in danger of collapse, then lie them down and raise their legs. And don't be tempted to sit them up until the emergency services are, are with you. So, key things to know. First of all, if the sting sac is still in there, um, the poison sac, scrape it out. Um, don't use tweezers because that will squeeze that extra bit of poison into them. If they start having a localised reaction, a wrapped ice pack can help. Um, or some antihistamine, but it will take 15 minutes to work. And if they start having a serious reaction, then you're talking anaphylaxis. And more information on that it can be found in our anaphylaxis video.